Hey guys, my name is Joel Gonzalez. I'm a sophomore kinesiology major and I'm striving to be a professional MMA fighter. Today I'm going to show you how to get out of three different positions. So the first position, uh, I just want to focus on different kind of positions that you, can, that you can may potentially get caught in. Maybe like done, walking down an alley or something like that. Hopefully you're not walking down an alley by yourself, but you, you know, in, a, in an unforeseen situation, you could end up with a bigger guy with his, heart, with his arm over around your neck. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is basically picture his shoulder attached to your shoulder. You're going to want to try to touch your head down to the ground. And the simplest way I can put it is tuck and roll. So you're going to bend your knees, your butt, your hips. You're going to lower them and stick them towards him. So you're going to tuck and roll. From here, if you know a little bit more martial arts, you can go for a kimura, you can go for an arm lock, or so on like that. If you're a little more advanced, say like your judo technique or something like that, if you just want to try a hip toss with your friend, if you want to try it with your friend, please try it in a safe area. Uh, what you want to what you want to do is get one arm underhook, keep it as high as you can. The other one you want to grab, you want to aim for around the elbow tricep area. Now you're going to want to do the same thing. Uh, the thing about judo, uh, jiu-jitsu, any kind of like martial arts like that, is uh, it's all about momentum. So I want to, my hips are going to want to end up under his hips. My hips under his hips, butt pokes out. And from there, I just I do the the rest of the controlling. All right, let's say you you've been knocked out, you've been you you were knocked down, and the guys over here trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do. So a lot of people think that this is a weak situation, when in reality I'm still in control. Which uh, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do from here. One of them being arm bar. So what you want to do is swim under. That way you can break this control, break the control here, pull the wrist to you. The other one, you're going to want to maintain control of his posture. This foot is either here on the floor or I prefer the hip. But I'm going to, I'm just going to do the floor so I'll, that way I don't mess up my partner's pants. So I turn, pivot my head. This leg rides up, bites down, and from then on, it goes for, for, for the arm bar. One thing, thumb up. You never want it to the side. You always just want it up. That way you're able to break their elbow.